video I'm going to show you how to assemble and give you a quick overview of the Tiny Love 3-in-1 Rocker Napper. Let's read the instructions and see how we put this thing together. The first page is the instruction guide and it gives you a few brief do's and don'ts. The actual instructions for assembly are all in diagrams as you can see there and numbered. The first thing I like to do when always following instructions for assembling anything is go through all the parts that should be in your box and let's lay them out and just check that we've got everything in the box that we need. If it Everything is there. What isn't supplied with the kit is a Phillips screwdriver, so you'll need one of those to assemble it, and batteries to allow it to be fully operational. The next thing I'm going to do is take the plastic wrapping off all the components. The instructions show the first thing to do is put this metal bar between these two end pieces. There's a little hole there, and this metal bar has got this little knobbly bit there. So we push that in. Push that down gently and that just clicks into place in there. And we're going to do exactly the same into the other piece. So just push that into the hole, push the little ball bearing in, turn it around until it clicks into place. So we now have those two components together. If you look at this piece here, these bits push inwards, so you're going to need to push these in in order to click them into place. Follow the instructions and assemble this to the other part. So this piece fits into these two holes, push that bit in there. When I just push these two pieces in to those bars, you also need to line this bit up. I've just done the one there. Once that's lined up, you just have to push that down and click into place like that. You've got two more legs. One is shorter than the other. And if you have a look at your frame, this front piece is narrower than this rear piece. We now need to push this longer piece into the wider part of the frame. And again, the same principle. You've got these little bits that you just push inwards to push into the metal bar and then they pop through the hole. And these legs do turn around there. I've just rotated these round to make it easier. Slot these into the hole like that. One, two. So that's in there solid, and we'll do the same to the other side. These here do swivel like that, make your life a bit easier when pushing these in. Bend that out slightly, they are flexible. So there we go. Then get this tray, remove these pieces of cardboard, like that, like that. Now I've turned this back around so the widest part is towards me. I need to turn this so that the hinged edge is closest to this wide part of the frame. So just to show you a closer look, you can't really get it wrong because the shape of this tray has a little curve there and the shape of it just fits around the frame. So when you push it like that, it just clicks into place. And if you look on the front of the instruction manual, you've got these bits taped on and in there you've got your little pack of screws. When you put these four screws by there, by there and in the same place on this side. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, put your screw on the end and just screw that into there. Do the same for all four screws. Screwing these in just holds this tray firmly to the frame. Turn the frame around and screw back in this way with my right hand. Side down, and if you look by here and by here, you've got these little grooves and a slot. Now, here are the two plastic bits that came in a little packet with the four screws. Now, these need a slot into there, so I'm going to zoom in and show you how that works now. So, this needs to slot into there and slide over this bit. Push that piece into the hole and just slide that over there on the grooves. And we need to turn it round and do the same on the other side. Take your plastic bracket, push the end. This casing, remove all your bits of foam with the cable ties, and we'll take the tags off and remove those as well. Make sure you remove any plastic bits that were holding on tags before you let your baby use this, as they could be a choke hazard. If you look at these metal bars by there and by there, the one side are narrower that way than the other. 
that one there and that one there are wider than that one and that one. The holes them to go into again there and there are wider than that one and that one. So the narrow ones go into the narrower holes. We've got these little ball bearing type pins there and there. So those just need to be lined up with the holes, push them in with your finger and then push in and they click. Just do the same with the other side and now you've got your basket secure. If you come and have a look inside you'll see these, these little holes in the fabric and you should have eight around the edge. And if you look through there there are like little plastic prongs that come up from the frame. Push the fabric around these little prongs so that the plastic sits proud through the fabric. Just go around and do that with them all. If you take your curved pieces, and there was two of those supplied with the kit, they fit in here. Just make sure these two fabric tags are sticking up over the plastic as we need those there to attach the cushion in a moment. So holding that tag out of the way and just starting from this side, just push that in gently. Do the same with that one, that one, and that one using your other piece of plastic, do exactly the same to the other side. Next thing to do is put this cushion into the bed. I've got a slit there, and then there's two slits up the side. This needs to correlate with this and these two straps. You're gonna need to undo these straps, like that, and like that. And we need to push this up through the cushion, and we need to pull these through the cushion as well. So to do that, just fold this up, And that should fit through that hole, like so, and then just put it back out again. Then take these straps with the plastic piece on them, and just push it with the plastic piece through first. And that should fit nicely through there. The same again on the other side. I've done this so that the lighter yellow side is facing down. The reason I've done this is because these fabric ties seem to come out of the bottom and the tag there is also on the underside, so that'll be hidden when you push it down. You've got these cords on your cushion. You can attach those to the cords that we left sticking out earlier. Just tie a granny knot in them and leave them underneath, and it just stops the cushion flapping about. So the cushion's in, done. Now this accessory that comes with the seat slots in this hole at the side, but before we do that, we can add some batteries. To do that, we need to take this back cover off, and we do that by undoing this screw here using a small Phillips screwdriver. I've opened that up, and inside there, there is room for three AAA batteries. Add your three AAA batteries. There's a range of functions on the back, and you can alter the tunes. If we look at this side, you can see the lights flash, and there's a range of different songs that play. We've got that with a mirror on one side, and sunny face or sunflower on that side, and then we've got this little snail rattle there. But we can turn that off there, before we all get too annoyed. Put your cap on the back, and just tighten up a little Phillips screw to stop the batteries falling out. If you want to push it in, face it away from the seat. Push in like that, turn around, and that will click into place. If you want to remove it, keep on turning it anti-clockwise and pull up, and it will come out like that. This is also adjustable. You can turn that at 90 degrees. If you look just down by here, just undo this screw, Pull back on the cover and I'll reveal another opening for a battery. The battery required here is one CX1 battery. Push these two little prongs up there, fold back over and re-tighten the screw. And then this button operates the vibrate function for the chair. When you put your toddler into the chair, it's very simple, just like a car seat or a buggy. This needs to go up between the legs 
the strap comes around the side, push the strap into the fastener in there and do the same on the other side. By adjusting these straps you can make this looser or tighter according to the size of your child. Don't forget to remove all tags that come with the packaging and remove all labels if you feel they're unsafe for your child. To stabilise the rocker just take the leg and pull it into place like that. Pull the other leg down and pull that into place. The rocker will then be stabilised and will not rock back and forth. When the legs are folded back down, it is now in rocker mode and can rock back and forth. There are three different positions on the rocker napper. At the back of the rocker there is a sliding handle. Just pull this handle back, put the handle pulled back, lift upwards like that and it will click into the next position. Pull the handle again, lift again and pull up and it will click into the third position. I hope this video is useful. If you enjoyed this video please watch my other videos where I show you how to do common tasks around the home with DIY tips, tricks, how to and review. Don't forget to subscribe to Pouse Around the House. See you next time.